Top 10 Best Rock Vocalists Number 10, Stevie Nicks Who is this? Stevie. Stevie Nicks? This top is started by the current reigning Queen of Rock and Roll, the title awarded by Rolling Stone magazine. Stevie Nicks is considered one of the most successful singers of her generation. Proof of this, in 1998 as a member of Fleetwood Mac, Stevie joined the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If there's one thing whereby Stevie Nicks is distinguished, it's her harsh voice and her bold compositions, which inspired to more than one important female rock star like Courtney Love, Sky Ferraria, and Florence Welsh. Thanks to her grandfather, a talented country singer, Stevie Nicks inherited his musical talent, which she carries in her blood. Can you believe that he taught her to sing at the age of four? This great vocalist was nominated for nine Grammy Awards as a member of the band Fleetwood Mac, winning the category of Album of the Year for Rumors in 1978. As a vocal soloist, Stevie was not left behind. She was nominated for eight Grammy Awards, holding the record for most nominations for the best female rock vocal. She's simply all a rock star. She's wilder. I mean, she's, you know, she's wild. Number 9, Mick Jagger Have you got the body movement like Jagger? Mick Jagger was born in 1943 in Dartford, England. This British composer, musician and actor is considered one of the most popular and influential singers in the history of rock and roll. Believe it or not, he is remembered as a model student and excellent basketball player. But at 20, Mick didn't hesitate to leave his studies at the London School of Economics to go and enjoy the long road of success as the lead singer of the Rolling Stones. The Rebellion, his main characteristic, made him a great icon of the counterculture, that is, of the rejection of everything that is normally imposed by society. It was the key to the great success of the band and what the public was looking for, and not to mention the crazy movements of Mick on stage. Seeing him dancing like that, who could imagine that he'd be named Knight of the Order of the British Empire in 2003 for his contribution to popular music? Besides, in 1989, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Number 8, Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler and Joe Perry, ladies and gentlemen, come on out, fellas. A crazy life worthy of a rock star and a big mouth. It's something that characterizes the vocalist of the band Aerosmith. Steven Tyler, singer, composer, and actor, from an early age was instructed in music by his father, Victor Tallarico, who was a pianist and a classic musician. For his powerful voice, in 1970, Steven Tyler became the lead singer of Aerosmith, it's amazing. known as the Bad Boys from Boston. Aerosmith not only sold more than 150 million copies in the world and 70 million in the United States, but this band also obtained 25 gold, 18 platinum, and 12 multi-platinum albums, in addition to one diamond album and four gold singles. If you have the rock soul, at least you must have an original copy among your collection, right? In 2001, Steven Tyler was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with Aerosmith. The incredible voice of this rock legend is on the Planet Rock on DAB digital radio chart of the 40 best rock vocalists of all time. So Number 7, Steve Perry. Surely this song is one of your favorites. Just a small town girl. And how can it not be if it's one of the best songs of Steve Perry, who is famous for his vocal range of tenor? Not for nothing, he was nicknamed The Voice. This American singer and composer has one of the most acclaimed and privileged voices in the rock world. But did you know that Steve Perry worked on a turkey farm? Yes, he dedicated himself to it after losing a friend who was also a drummer for the band Alien Project. But one day he received a call from the manager of a San Francisco-based band, Journey, and the long journey of success began, giving the chance to Steve Perry to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Journey in 2017 for later being considered one of the 10 best rock singers of all time by a mean survey of readers of classic rock of the year 2009. I don't know about you, but I don't get tired of listening to this song. Number 6, Axl Rose. 
The incredible voice of Axl Rose has accomplished to shake the foundations of the rock world, being on top of the ranking as the best singer in the world of all time, according to ConcertHotels.com, for his incredible vocal range. There is no doubt about his talent. His voice is so versatile that it can reach very high and low notes. You just have to listen to There Was a Time and Ain't It Fun. Did you notice it before? It's incredible! Axl Rose always had a rebellious character. Also, before the age of 18, he was already qualified as a problematic boy. However, Axl decided to leave his hometown in Indiana to form the band that would later become one of the most influential in history for his musical legacy, Guns N' Roses. What he never leaves behind was his explosive temperament when he was on stage. He's had some bursts of anger and even abruptly left concerts. I'm going home! What would you have done if you had been a part of the audience? Would you have applauded or would you have asked them for the refund of your ticket? Despite the controversial attitude, within the great vortex of American rock, Rose achieved to position himself as number 30 on the chart of the 100 best singers of all time, according to Rolling Stone magazine. Number 5. Jim Morrison This is the end, my only friend, the end. Poetry and Rock This was one of his greatest contributions to music history. For his creativity and wild performances, Jim Morrison is considered one of the most iconic and influential singers in the history of rock. Rebellious and wild. Jim Morrison proclaimed himself the Lizard King who could do everything he wanted. From 1965, Jim Morrison was the lead vocalist of the rock band The Doors, with which he sold more than 100 million albums worldwide. Unfortunately, the alcohol and drug dependency ended his brilliant career. His voice died down at 27 in Paris. It's assumed that he could have died of an overdose of heroin. As no autopsy was performed, the cause of his death will always be a mystery. Despite Morrison's death, his talents continued shining. In 2011, Rolling Stone magazine awarded him in fifth place of the chart of the best singers of all time. If you do have any clue of what could have been the cause of his death, please tell me in the comments. Number 4. David Bowie Considered one of the pioneers of glam rock, the talented David Bowie served as an inspiration for many innovators of the punk rock music movement. Something you undoubtedly had not noticed is that his eyes looked different. Although the truth is that he had a permanently dilated pupil as a consequence of a punch that was received from his classmate. Well, I think now he has a more mysterious look, what do you think? Thanks to his great talent, David Bowie won several awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1996. Even Rolling Stone magazine ranked him as number 39 of the 100 greatest rock artists of all time. But it was in 1985 when there was an encounter between two greats. Bowie and Jagger recorded together Dancing in the Street to raise funds for Ethiopian famine. What a combination! Number 3. Elvis Presley Are you ready for rock and roll? Elvis Presley was the best-selling solo artist in the history of popular music. He had a difficult beginning because his father was in jail for fraud and his family depended on the government. Despite this, the king of rock and roll was already heard at singing competitions at 10 years old. He never wasted his time. According to Elvis, he was so shy. Who would say that years later his frantic movements on the stage would be considered outrageous? Just look at it! No wonder girls went crazy when they watched him dance. His charisma didn't go unnoticed, and a way to prove it is that at 21, Elvis Presley was one of the most famous people in the world and the leading figure of rock and roll. What rock singer can say that he went to war, came back, and took Hollywood by storm? Well, only Elvis Presley who after serving his country for two years, he went back in 1960 and recorded more than 27 films. During his successful career in music, Elvis not only received four Grammy Awards, but also he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1986. Number 2. Robert Plant This great English musician, composer, and producer stands out as the incredible voice of the rock band Led Zeppelin. Robert Plant is known as the Golden God and is considered as one of the most outstanding and influential musicians in history. 
According to what he has said in some interviews, since he was a child, he had an interest in singing in rock and roll. Guess who he admired and tried to imitate? Why, the great Elvis Presley! Can you imagine Robert, at the age of 10 years old, moving like Elvis? What? But what madness! The talent of the Golden God has swept all the charts. He was chosen as the great voice of rock by popular vote organized by Planet Rock Radio in 2009. And in 2006, Hit Parader magazine placed him in the first position of the 100 best metal vocalists of all time. But that's not all. In 2018, the American Music Association awarded him the American Music Honors and Award for a lifetime of achievements. Oh, but what do we hear in the distance? It can't be possible. Yes, yes, here it comes. Number 1. Freddie Mercury Are you ready? Hey! Freddie Mercury is the undisputed winner of this top for his mastery domain of the stage, his powerful voice, I want to and a life full of art. Surely more than once you've been surprised by his unique theatrical style during his performances. Freddie Mercury was an authentic showman who used all possible resources, such as costumes as extravagant like this one, or maybe this one, and extremely exaggerated gestures like this one or this one. He was unique, and his creative ability is unquestionable. You just have to listen to his most famous compositions, such as Killer Queen, Don't Stop Me Now, and the most glorious of all, Bohemian Rhapsody. His incomparable and almost celestial voice was so imposing that some scientists from the journal Logopedics Phoniatrix Vocology decided to study his voice in 2015. They concluded that Freddie had such an exceptional voice that he was able to produce subharmonics even when he speaks. In fact, at some point you have wondered why he didn't have a perfect smile like other artists after reaching absolute fame. It's simple, Freddie had a malformation in his teeth and, despite the advice, he preferred not to fix it because he thought it'd modify the sound and range of his extraordinary voice. I was born with four additional incisors. More space in my mouth means more range. But come on, we all love that peculiar smile. Indeed, his musical legacy remains intact today and will remain like this for a long time. Long live the Queen! We will rock you. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe by activating the bell for more crazy content. See you in the next video here at Trendmax. And remember, I love you just a little more.